It could be a deal like no other. Pfizer and Allergan are in early talks to merge. The combined company would create the world's largest drug maker. Shares of both companies rose today, Allergan gaining nearly 6%, as you see there, though Pfizer did turn negative late in the day. The potential tie-up is a complicated one, and it puts Pfizer in a familiar position. Last year, it unsuccessfully pursued AstraZeneca, but as Meg Terrell reports, it now hopes for a different outcome. Pfizer confirmed today it's in friendly discussions about a potential combination with Irish drug company Allergan, the maker of Botox. Analysts expect the deal value could total $150 billion. This comes a year and a half after Pfizer abandoned its $120 billion bid for AstraZeneca, after the British drug maker resisted its advances in a nasty months-long battle. Many think Allergan will be more willing. The company is led by serial dealmaker Brent Saunders, who in just two years has amassed almost $150 billion in deal activity. He started at iCompany Bausch & Lomb, where as CEO he sold the company to Valiant for almost $9 billion in 2013. Less than a year later, at the helm of Forest Labs, he engineered a $25 billion sale to Activis. After unexpectedly taking the CEO job there, Saunders bought Botox maker Allergan for $66 billion out from under competitor Valiant. Then he changed Activis's name to Allergan. Finally, this summer, he agreed to sell Allergan's generics business to Teva for about $40 billion. So why does this make Allergan a target for Pfizer? The New York-based drug giant has been looking for a way to lower its corporate tax rate. With Allergan in Ireland, Pfizer could pursue an inversion deal, moving its headquarters overseas. And though the move would be bound to draw political scrutiny, analysts at Bernstein estimate it could take Pfizer's tax rate down from about 25 percent to 18 percent. An overseas deal would also let Pfizer tap into its cash held outside the U.S., about two-thirds of its $30 billion hoard. And analysts say it would strengthen the so-called innovative products part of Pfizer's business for a potential split of the company in a couple years. Not to mention blockbuster drugs in Botox and Alzheimer's treatment, Namenda. Some wonder if it's an especially good time for deal-making in the drug world, with valuations depressed in the last few months. We've seen lots of negative sentiment on drug prices, on, on pricing for drugs and, and biotechnology products. Um, that's created some pressure in the space, some lower valuations, and we think that uh, that can help lead to some transactions. Before the news today, Allergan stock was down 15 percent in the last three months. But Pfizer CEO Ian Reid on the company's quarterly earnings call this week said that just because valuations have come down, expectations haven't. That's why analysts peg a potential deal for Allergan, now trading around 305 at $350 to $400 a share. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.